funny that you're accusing me of breaking promises when you're the one who's been breaking promises this entire time, aren't you? No, no, you're not going to just come down here on your high horse acting like you are some perfect being. You've been talking to other girls. Oh, no, no, no. You want to deny, do you? You can. You're wrong. But you can. Saw you. You've been on VR chat. Oh, yeah, no. I use my teleportation powers to jump into their rooms and invisibility cloaks so that they couldn't see me. I'm so tired of you. I'm so tired of you wanting me to deny who I am. Telling me that I'm always jealous. Telling me that I am too obsessed with you. Telling me that I'm too clingy. Telling me you're the one who wanted to be with me. I told you who I am. I told you that I'm obsessive, that I'm jealous, that I need you all to myself. And you, you sit there and tell me, oh, I don't like the fact that you do magic. Hide your tarot cards. You should stop doing spells and potions. This is manipulation. This is manipulative. This is bullshit. That's what this is. Absolute, grade A, 100% bull. (sighs) So... You trapped me in this reality where I had to deny who I am. I think that it's time for you to get a taste of your own medicine, Mr. I get to be free to be whoever I fucking want to be. But you, you have to be on a leash underneath your thumb, living up to who you want me to be. It's so funny because you get so fucking angry at everyone around you trying to tell you who to be. You should be so lucky to be free and be whatever you want to be. No responsibilities. But me? I have to be everything that you want to. Well, I have always had the power to do whatever I wanted to. And I let it go because I loved you, baby. Because... I love you. I do love you. I love you. I love you. No one, no one could be to you. I could be to you. No one will ever worship the ground that you walk on. I gave up myself for you, but it's clear you don't know what you need. It's clear you don't know what would make your life better. So I'm going to do the thing that I need to do, my sweet darling. I am going to hold still. Hold still. Hold still. I want you. I want you to calm down first and foremost. What is wrong with you? Jesus. Look in my eyes. Yes, I used a glamour charm to get you to be more compliant. Otherwise, I would never be able to put this pretty collar on you. And now, baby, now... You're going to stay down here in in the basement for a bit. Yeah, well, it'll only be for a while. No, no. See, I have a game. I know how much you love to play video games. I hired a tutor a while back to teach me how to use Unity. Yeah, and Dan's amazing. My friend Yoshi connected me to him. And I found a way to connect my magic to it. And now you're going to play this game where you're going to learn to navigate situations with other girls so that you won't be breaking my heart constantly. And it's also designed to teach you how to deal with our relationship, how to deal with someone who has a very hard time with the fact that you have to be around others. And baby, you don't have a job you haven't don't have a job anymore you don't need one i'm gonna take care of us you're never gonna have to make another decision again and when you have gotten to level 50 then you can go above ground and we can do the next transition where you'll be living this life but real life Mm -hmm. i figured this will teach you and then 
We can do a trial run. And then if we have to come back here, we can. And eventually you can get this collar off. Mm -hmm. And while you're down here, you will have to do certain things and missions in the game. But also, it gives you points so that I can be summoned to give you food, bathe you. And don't you want to feel my fingers running all up and down your body? Just taking care of you. You'll never have to worry about anything again. And once you've learned to deal with the fact that, well, I have magic and I love spells and I love the power that I have over the world around me and that I can use it to make us a wonderful life, then, then I can also use it to make you be able to have everything you want. Once you learn to trust in me, and my ability to make our lives happy, then we'll be fine. We'll be... What do you mean? What do you mean this isn't love? Well, if it's not love, what would you call it? What would you call it? I... I didn't hit you. I hit the chair you're sitting on. I don't hit my partners. Let alone the only partner I ever want. I... I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I just I want to love. I want to love. I want to. Mm, I would love to love all over you if you kept my death. Baby. Baby. No, I know. I'm not. No, I'm not going to hear this. You know what? You've never listened to me. You never sat down and cared about what I wanted. You just told me you weren't comfortable with magic. You never wanted to feel manipulated. Well, you know what? Everyone manipulates everyone. It's just whether or not you want to be manipulated. It's just whether or not you're happy with the manipulation happening to you. Stores manipulate prices of things and you pay them based off of whether or not you think it's worth it. You, Your boss manipulates you into doing work for them that you don't usually want to do or even like. But your circumstances force you to do it. It's everything around you is a manipulation. And you just have to decide what you're okay with. And you should be okay with someone wanting to love you. What You want to go out there? You think you can find better? Do you think you can find better? Do you? Really? You think you can find someone better? Well, no, I know that's not what you said. But it's how you're acting. Who else would completely change who they are for you for this long without ever, without ever once thinking that they're the one in the wrong? I did it for you. It wasn't until I realized that you, you're going to remain miserable. You don't like your current life and you're not going to do the things to make it better. And you haven't been listening to me on how to make it better. So someone has to force you. And damn it, if it has to be me, I will do it because I love you. Look at all the thought that I put into this, babe. What do you mean prison? It's not prison. It's just re-education, you know? It's just teaching you a different way of looking, a, a different outlook that I, I couldn't help you learn any other way. That's what partners do. Baby, they, I've tried many different ways. I tried to love you. I tried to uh, think of, think of all the really dirty things that we did and think of all the kisses and all the, well, and cuddles and no, what's wrong with cuddles with struggles? And no, think of all of the times that I let you get behind me and in order to show you that I'm fully behind you in love no just all of those precious times weren't working all the times I tried to sit down and reason and talk with you weren't working nothing was working this is the only way this is the only way this is the only way and if you don't like it then I suggest you just learn to deal with it because this is your reality now you've dealt with all the other things that didn't make you happy you did you dealt with all the other things that pissed you off you did you dealt with all the other things that you couldn't accept so why don't you just learn to accept this? 
You're mine. You're mine and I am not letting go of you. And you can sit here and you can hate it. You can absolutely despise it. But that collar, that collar will keep you down here. It won't be agonizing pain. You'll find that you'll be completely unable to go up those stairs with that collar on. And no one can take that collar off but me. What? If I had pain associated with it, then you'd just find a way to power through. You're tough. So I knew that that wasn't the way to keep you down here. I knew I had to find some way that you couldn't just engineer a way out. It's going to have to be some of the most powerful magic on earth. What? How do you think that I created it? I got rid of the only thing that I ever cared about. What? Yeah. This John to my daddy? This flag? I took it. I had to give up something that I treasured above all. And since the magic was going on you, it didn't have to be anything to do with you. And I burned it to create this. It's the only thing I gave any care for. So here we are. Yeah. You see how much I love you? You see how much I care for you, darling? I gave up something. One of the last things I had. So that to remember the man who's my hero. So that I could get you to finally see what you need. So I can get you to finally be loyal to me and only me. Because as much as that man was my hero, as much as I loved him, I would truly do anything for you. You're the one that I love now, darling. So how about you just sit down? And... Here, why don't you start working on the tutorial level of the game? Because in order for you to get food, you're going to have to pass certain checkpoints every day. No? What? Yeah? No, you'll... I doubt you're going to starve to death. You'll hit the checkpoints at some point. Well, no, that's a possibility. But that'll be you choosing that. I don't think you're going to choose. You wouldn't want to do that, would you? It's okay. I've got some necromancer potions, too. It'll actually be easier to control you if you decide to go that route once I bring you back. But I do want you to be able to have freedom. Well, necromantedly controlling you will deny you of that. And I don't think you want that either. So why don't we focus on the positive and... Why don't you get to working on hitting some of those checkpoints so you can have some dinner tonight? Had a steak, Sam? Yeah? All right, baby. I'll be back once the game summons me. And that will be the only way that you can summon me. No one will be able to hear you down here, nor will they see that there's a door to lead them down here. I've completely, completely cloaked this area. You have to be some of the strongest witches in the world to be able to find you. Well, you've done a pretty good job at secluding yourself away from the world, so. It's not going to be anybody coming to find you, I guess. All right, darling. I'll be back soon. Hopefully. Hey guys, Zine Alexander here. <laughs> that was a dark one. Um, okay, so motivations for this audio. Um, mm, I've been in multiple relationships where uh, it goes with the uh, people pleasing, um, jealous um, person uh, attributes that I have. I tend to change for the people that I'm with. Um, I'll I'll literally give up anything, but I also like, it's such a bad dichotomy 
if I see that they're not doing things to move for me, but I'm doing all the things to move for them, it really bothers me over time. And I don't tend to communicate that well, partially because I don't tend to realize that that's what's going through my brain. Like it's a subconscious thing. Uh, thank you, therapy. Um, and it makes me both cling more to them and get more obsessive because it's like, okay, maybe I just need to show them I care more. And of course, my methods of showing I care more can be unhealthy. Again, I'm recognizing this through therapy and working on it. Lovely, great stuff. Um, so that's what kind of made me like think of this audio. Uh, also, shout out to Yoshi and Dan. Um, my Yoshi is an incredible supporter of the channel. Love his face. Um, hooked me up with my tutor, who that is a true story. I'm working on a Yandere um, slash monster girl game that I'm super excited about. And I uh, did kind of give some little Easter eggs of some stuff that'll be in the game um, here. Like you can get captured and potentially need to get free from your Yandere. Um, Chikadita. So interesting stuff. Interesting, fun stuff. I think um it'll be fun. And yeah, shout out to to Yoshi. And Dan is such a sweetheart. If you guys are on the Discord server, Dan has been on there, Dan Fang, um, and has come by in a couple of voice chats and hung out, which was kind of sweet. So yay, fun times. Um I wanna say thank you to creator uh Cutie, who's also a VA for being on the server she's been such a sweetheart i love her content um and i just was actually on her channel earlier today and was enjoying some of her videos if you guys do not know creator cutie make sure you look her up she is absolutely adorable um and i wanted to also uh say a huge thank you to my staff um on the asmr rp lounge they are so sweet they um are so dedicated to having a a good community. And I, 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 this is going to sound strange to some people, but I really love people who are willing to challenge. They challenge me daily on my ideas of how things should go. Um, and it takes massive balls to do that. So I wanted to like tell them how much I appreciate them because not only do they do things in my absence, but also that they're always looking out for the community as a whole, not just me. And I think that that's super important. So if you guys see them, make sure to tell them thank you. Um, I'm super stoked because next week I will be um, probably around Monday or Tuesday. I should be live streaming more. It's something that I started up. I loved doing and I need to honestly get more into it um, because I love hanging out with you guys live. And the Discord server is one thing, but it's also kind of different like it's a totally different vibe on youtube and i need to be using it more um and i i do plan to i just wanted to get a steam over a steam a, a stream overlay done and a couple of things done um and i finally got those uh sorted so i'm super excited about that anyways guys i love you more than bacon bits and i will see you guys in the next one bye